Hey, Kevin. Building the house? Well, a really tiny one. <laughs> See, it's got a window in it. Huh. Oh, I, I got an email the other day from a longtime watcher. Uh, he said, hey, man, I, I just got some quarter-inch plate, and I want to make a barbecue. Can you do some outside corners and stuff? You know, show us how to put together a quarter-inch plate or something like that. And, okay, yeah, sure. Well, the first thing I found when I got here was <laughs> I don't have any quarter-inch. So I've got some 5 sixteenths, just a little bit over. And this is what you should at least try to do. So you got your plate cut. You know, you go however big you want to make this little guy. Um, you're going to wind up overlapping your corners just a little tiny bit. So you don't want your, you don't want a gap. You don't want to put it flush in the corner. You want to leave that little, that little corner open in there. So you've got a little, a little place to put your weld when you weld inside there. So let's just go ahead and jig it up on the magnet real quick, and we'll talk about the weld. So remember, a good starting rule on your welder when you go to set it up to do your quarter inch plate. One amp per thousands of the metal is a good place to start and then you're going to fine tune it a little bit from there. So quarter inch plate that's 25 thousandths, you know, 0.250. So you want about 25 amps on that welder. If you don't have a machine big enough, uh, we got a problem. So with, with this longevity 250 mid weld, I'm just going to go ahead and turn it up to 25 amps, or 25 volts rather. And the uh, wire is maxed out at 300, or 311 inches. And I just throw my helmet on and let's make some sparks and see what we get. first, huh? Yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and tack it on both ends so I can get it away from the magnets, because I know the magnets will interfere with the weld. I think I'll go ahead and turn it down just a little bit. I think it's just a little too warm. So I dropped it from 25 volts down to 24, left the wire the same. Let's go ahead and put one more tack in the middle, and that'll tell us how we're doing. Then we can go ahead and weld the whole thing. So you see, this is the part that I did with the metal laying down flat on the bench, so I could work horizontally. And this is the part that I just did with it standing up like this. Start at the top and work your way down. Got to go a little quicker when you go that way. A little bit of back and forth maybe. You're almost trying to hold that puddle up with, with, your, with your arc, with your wire. You're trying to slow that puddle down a little bit as it's going. But you definitely have to move a little bit quicker because otherwise gravity gets in the way and the whole thing just falls on the table. But you can see that while this one is almost flat, across here. This is dished just a little bit. It got a little more penetration, I think, in there. You know, because I was going a little faster, it strung it out a little bit more. So I'd come back and do the whole thing again anyways. You know, I'd start at, start at the top, start at one end, whatever, you know, however you want to do it. And just slow down a little and just a nice weave back and forth to go ahead and fill in that whole corner. Build it up nice so if you want to come in with the grinder, grind it off smooth, you know, you have a nice sharp edge on the corner, hit it one more time with a grinder, you got a nice, nice 45 degree, you know, edge on there, nice and clean and neat looking. And then you go ahead and get the inside one pass also. That's kind of how you do it. I hope that helps.